guys, I hope you're well. For this week's video, I thought that I would take you on a little adventure vlog style um, to my intensive weekend at uni for my herbal manufacturing subject. So this intensive weekend, for I'm an online student, so for normal students who are on campus, you are meant to go every single week and learn how to make a new herbal preparation. So things like oils, teas, creams, lotions, lozenges, all that kind of stuff. Um, but because I'm online, so I live in the Sunshine Coast and my uni is in Brisbane, um, it's only an hour and a half away, but that is where I'll be going this weekend. So because I'm online, it's all just done in one weekend. It's quite intense, which is why it's called an intensive. So it is nine to five on Saturday and Sunday, um, but I don't think it's gonna be too much work. We've already done like work booklets and everything throughout the, the trimester. Um, and this is just going to hopefully be a bunch of fun where we just make a bunch of stuff. Um, but I'm really bad at cooking, so hopefully it goes okay and I'm better at mixing herbal preparations. Um, but I just thought that it would be super interesting to see the behind the scenes of an atropathy student and even just a naturopath and how they make all those herbal preparations because I actually haven't seen it myself, so that's why I'm going there this weekend to learn. Um, and yeah, I thought that you guys might be interested on how all those creams and everything are made as well. So I'm gonna take you on a little behind the scenes tour. Um, and yeah, it's Friday night at the moment, so I will see you on the road tomorrow. Good morning guys. So today is Saturday morning and I'm just about to drive down to my weekend intensive. It's going to take me an hour and a half to get there um, and I've left two hours or so so it's not too bad. I should be on time um, and I'm very in need of a coffee. I didn't get much sleep last night because I was shopping the Black Friday sales so I think I've had about four and a half hours sleep which is not good considering that today is nine to five. Um, but yeah, all right, so I'm about to, about to leave, so I will see you soon. This is my uni ID card that apparently I have to wear the whole time that I'm here, but it looks like I'm going to a festival. Cool, so apparently I've got the wrong campus. There's two Brisbane campuses. There's one near the Story Bridge and then one a little further into Fortitude Valley. And it appears that it's not at the Health Sciences campus, which, so yeah, now I'm late. <laughs>
guys, so day one is done. It was amazing. Like, I thought it was gonna be good, but it was so, so good. I learned more in the first hour than I have in the last, like, six months. It was just so insightful and so useful. And I will share some of the takeaways with you a little bit later when I go through all my notes because there was just so much information. But even things like my green tea trick, um, there's a certain way that you have to do it. I said like, I found that green tea is really good for this. Can you tell me more about that? Am I doing it right? And she just told me little tricks and she's like, well, if you do it like this, if you like brew it for this long, then it's amazing. If you brew it for this long, then it's actually not great. Um, and even same with licorice, like how to get the most out of licorice. Um, so yeah, it was just such a good day. Um, I took away so many points from it. Um, and yeah, I'll have to tell you more about that later. <laughs> good morning guys. I'm looking forward to today. Um, yesterday they said that today we were making creams, um, but she was also going to kind of alter the program a little bit and make a face mask. So I'm really, really excited because obviously all these herbs have incredible properties. Um, and so I'm really keen to make this face mask and then bring it home. So we bring home heaps of stuff. I'll go through it all with you a bit later. Um, but yeah, bring it home, try it out. Um, and who knows, it could be the next big thing. Um, and obviously you can buy all these herbs wholesale and then make it up yourself at home. So if I find something that's really, really good and I think that you guys should do that, then yeah, I'll um, pop up a video on how to do that. So I'm really loving everything that I'm learning. Um, I didn't end up getting a coffee yesterday. Um, don't know how the hell I lasted, but this morning that is the first thing that I'm doing. I'm going to get a coffee. Um, yeah, another hour and a half drive there. I'm gonna listen to a podcast. Maybe some like upbeat music first, just to kind of like, Get me in the mood. All right, so I've got my almond milk cappuccino, yum. And I've got my shameless ready to go. Let's hit the road. It's a meme cult that can overlap so furiously. It's so interesting to know. All right, so that hour and a half drive almost killed me. I'm so tired and sore. But I just wanna run through a few things that we made this weekend um, and what they're used for because I came home with so much stuff. Um, so I'll just pop you down. Okay, so um, the first one, it was really cool. You would have seen in the video that when you mix a liquid, kind of like a water base with an oil base, um, it turns to cream instantly. Like I didn't know that that's how cream was made, but as soon as they were combined, um, you could see like the creamy um, consistency of it, which was really weird. Um, so that's a cream base that'll last for six months and I can add any essential oils I want to it and they will have the medicinal effect. Um, then we've also made calendula cream. Calendula is really good for pretty much anything skin. And I've got tea tree and lavender. I really love tea tree. I used to use it in my diffuser all the time when I was struggling with acne because it's really antibacterial and just amazing. Um, and then I've got arnica and lavender and arnica is awesome with um, bruises. So yeah, next time I have a bruise, I'm gonna pop this one on and give it a go. So I'll show you now in the fridge all the ones that we made um, that need to be refrigerated. So. I've popped them all here on my little shelf. Um, I'll be quick so that I'm not leaving the fridge open forever. But basically this one is a licorice tincture. So you can see all the dried herb there. Um, you have to shake it 
every day um, or once a day um, but this I actually can't use for two weeks so um, I can use it on the 14th of the 12th 19 and the way that you use this is you just put one or five mil in a hundred that's uh, a hundred ten mil of water so you're pretty much just putting a tiny little bit in a shot glass and filling up the shot glass with water and then having a water chaser ready so um, you would have heard me talk about I'll just quickly shut this you would have heard me talk about licorice a lot on my channel and how it helps to reduce heightened androgens so like testosterone so I am currently kind of working on that at the moment and I think my testosterone levels are high for a number of reasons so I'm really interested to try that out and see how it goes um, and yeah see what it tastes like because I really like the tea so marshmallow glycertract um, it's the same dosage so one to one or five mil um, in 10 mil of water and these expire July 2021 so they've got ages marshmallow is um, really good for the throat really soothing um, also insect repellent that we made which has got like eucalyptus citronella lemon balm lots of good stuff it smells awesome so I'm excited to use that then we've got lavender decoction so that'll be really good for any inflammation um, anything with the skin uh, marshmallow decoction I've already used this um, on my I've got like a skin condition I've developed around my nose it's like eczema dermatitis or I don't know yet I've, I've been using that and it's really nice and soothing because marshmallow is like a little bit thicker um, and then we've got a garlic oxymel as well which is another one that's really really good for sore throats so um, this has become the drug shelf along with my dairy free aioli um, but yeah, it was an awesome weekend. Learned how to make so much and so many of those things, because I suck at cooking, um, but so many of those things, they seemed a bit difficult on the recipe, um, but when I made them, they were so easy, like really, really easy. So just need to get sick now so I can try them out and see if they work. Um, but yeah, I just, this weekend was awesome and everything we learned, like it wasn't just making of the stuff it was also just understanding like the science behind it um and yeah i was just really impressed and it's got me so excited to continue through my naturopathy um degree so yeah um but let me know if you liked this vlog just let me know down in the comments or give it a like if you did enjoy it because i yeah i just bought a vlogging camera so this is kind of all new to me um, and I am expecting the first couple to not be that great. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of an insight into how to make all the herbal medicines and the life of a naturopathy student. Um, if you want to see any other vlogs then just let me know what kind of vlogs you want to see down in the comments and if you have any questions pop them down there and I'll get back to them but other than that if you haven't already come and join us over on Instagram because that's where I share um, all the things that I've learned in my degree but also lots of tips and tricks as well and next week is going to be back with the acne tips as well um, going to be delivering now that um, uni's pretty much over going to be delivering like lots of content lots of value um, and yeah to really help you guys out with your health so yeah make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when the next one comes out but that's all from me for today thank you so much for watching my first vlog and i will chat to you soon I can help you out. I can help you out I can